<laughs> CRMs. Let, uh, let's talk CRMs for a minute. No, okay. no, no, don't do that to me. Okay. What let's What do you it. need in a CRM? I think that's I think that's what you need to ask yourself. What do you need in your CRM? What problems are going to solve for you? Right. Well, the the biggest problem that I did not know about follow up, boss. Right. So I was always looking for something. I mean, we know that we can manage our intake. Um, fairly well inside LG Pass. Now you add a little process moto to that and uh, you add a Google Drive and you really, you've cinched down in an Airtable. So if you've got an Airtable, a process moto, a Google Drive, right, an LG Pass, your intake is going to be rock solid. You've got the makings of a nice system. So, but on the flip side, um, Airtable works good on the sell side, but the follow-up boss, which I know um, you, you can speak to that boss, but that's that's a game changer when that came around because prior to that I was trying to find ways to integrate phone numbers into pipe drive. It can be done. I know some of you out there, yes, you can use just call and ring central, but it's not native to pipe drive. It's not native to whatever you do. And uh follow up boss, it's an is that the right word to say it's um, Forbes yeah. native, right? It's it's, in, it's like not it. nothing you have to do. It's it's native. right there. It's native. Proxy proxy. And proxy. It, and so you can text, call, email, keep track of things. Uh, that to me. So once I found the follow-up boss and uh, you know got my process mode rolling with some Airtable and LG Pass, I, my hunt for the CRM. I feel like the hunt for Red October was. I just it's the hunt for Red October. <laughs> the hunt for the CRM was over. Uh, There's only one problem with what you said. Okay, add to it. <laughs> follow-up boss is not a CRM. <laughs> all right except for right. that little piece of it Listen. except for the fact it's not one uh now don't get me wrong well right? then, let's help us out here look at again i know my terminology firefighter 25 years uh you know matt let's let's talk let's talk CRM. it's just not a crm it's a it's a sales it's a sales platform um it Love doesn't do crm things um but it does kick ass at what you're talking about and it kicks a little ass and I know Pipedrive, and I know Salesforce, and I know Dynamics, and I've seen Sugar, and all. I mean, Sugar, I literally like, up? dude, my corporate life, I see all these things, and they all suck. <laughs> Every single one of them sucks. Love the Salesforce. <laughs> you suck. <All> right? <laughs> and I'll tell you why you suck, because it's uh, whatever. It's St. Patrick's Day. Here's why you suck. You cost a lot of money, and all you do is mess salespeople up. You just you just get in the way. It's constantly getting in the way. What, so, so my so my boss can report on whether I'm doing my job. Oh, that's cli is it client resource management? Is that what we're saying? CRM customer, customer. All right, whatever. So how how does how does that differ? Educate me and the rest of us from follow up boss, where I I feel like I'm managing my customers, but is that not the right way to look at it? it no, follow up boss is a contact is a contact management solution. Contact. Okay. I can I can email. I can text. I can do it all in there. It's the best there is. If I could use that in my regular job, I would give Salesforce the bird tomorrow. <laughs> like I could be a Salesforce admin. I could sit for the test and pass, right? And I would absolutely <sighs> choose to be in. If I didn't have Connect and Sell, I'd probably would 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 pay for follow up boss for myself. It's just so much easier to just text, text, email, boom, all right there. Also, right. there's not nine clicking around, but it's not a CRM. Pipedrive is. It's not going to track your deals. Right. And that's what a CRM really is. It's like I can track your people. I can track your properties. I can track all of those things. And so no one's got it all in this business. Right. LG Pass is more of do the CRM. Do you use that portion of follow up boss where they do have a portion where you can has like a, a sort of a Trello uh, Kanban board. Do you use that at all? Absolutely not. OK. No. I, I don't. I use it for what it's made for. It literally it's the title it's right. made to follow right. up and be a boss and it's again that stuff is the boss i have two accounts i pay 200 dollars a month for follow-up boss and i love every second of it yeah. people think i'm crazy i get to record my wife who uses it for one half of the business and my salesperson who uses it for the other half all the calls are recorded we can go back and listen to them there's game tape there's you know Everything's right there. The lists auto populate, right? Who should be contacted when and why? And you can quickly and efficiently go in and see what the hell's going on with the record. It's a slam dunk. I, lo I absolutely love that platform. Yeah. I've never really figured out how 
I would integrate there because they do have that um, deal section of their of their software, and uh, you know, and so it looks as if it could function like a pipe drive or so on and so forth. But uh, um, so, do you you proctor your wife's calls too? Does that go well? <laughs> Recording my wife's calls <laughs> on the on the one follow up boss you just mentioned does that does that go well? Um, yeah, I love it. I <laughs> I know you do. Yeah, she doesn't care. Look, she knows she's being recorded. Look, here's the funny thing: like everyone gets all panicked about being recorded. Right. You just stop caring. It's game tape. MJ doesn't go practice and then not watch himself. Right. That's not how Jordan, you know, got better. Like these big time athletes. They need game tape. Everybody has game tape. Why wouldn't a salesperson have game tape? I love this, Scott. I mean, uh, uh, Matt, can you talk a little bit about that? So this is something you do besides the land business. You've seen in the uh, corporate world where you're basically listening um, and not in a way to be punitive, but a way to, to improve. Sometimes. 